Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. This is Bhupesh. So today we'll be talking about one of the popular, you know, 509 Prometheus exporter. Now, what is this exporter? This is used for uh, monitoring your TLS and your um, other certificates in your cluster, you know, in Kubernetes clusters. Quick recap before we start with the topic. Uh, we have done uh, all these nine pointers in our previous session in the same playlist. We started with Grafana and then we integrated Vera, which is a bit on PromQL, then we understood uh, the dashboards, the locky logs, uh, Grafana alert, tempo for tracing, okay? And then we used a MongoDB exporter to export the MongoDB database matrices to Prometheus and Grafana to build certain dashboards. And finally, we did uh, AWS authentication, cognitive authentication with Grafana so that users can uh, log in and assign to their respective roles like editor, admin, and uh, a viewer. But let's quickly jump on to the X509 exporter. So what is this exporter? If this exporter, uh, you know, integrates with the uh, Prometheus as an, uh, with the help of certain labels, and then it sends all the matrices uh, to, to Grafana, and then we can create certain dashboards and alert on top of it. So what this will tell us, I mean, if any certificate is, it is getting expired or it is about to expire within 15 days or within 30 days, so we can click, you know, clearly see that thing into a dashboard, and then we can create alert on top of it. So let's quickly jump onto the uh, practical implementation of it. So I've created a GitHub page for ease of everyone. So you can simply, you know, go to this uh, uh, GitHub repository and then uh, search it X509. So you can simply see this is the GitHub page that I'm talking about. Right. We'll start with the first step. So we'll install the Grafana. If it is not installed, you can, if it's already installed, that is okay. So you can simply run this uh, open source thing, uh, the, Q, the popular Q Prometheus stack. I'll come here. I'll just run this piece. We'll just add a repo. Just to repo update because it is already that it will happen quickly. And then I'll install my uh, few Prometheus template with this release, release to Grafana. Fine. So once this is done, then we'll see uh, whether the matrices are coming, uh, the infrastructure matrices are coming onto the uh, Grafana or not. So this will take some time to installation. Hardly a minute or so. Yeah. So this is done. I'll do a key port forwarding of this Grafana. And the username and password is admin and prom operator, if you don't know. Yeah. So let me just do a sign out and then sign in again. So second. So user is admin, and if nobody knows the password, then you can simply get the password also. Password is from operator, okay? So I'll just copy this password and paste it here. Come on, P-R-O-M. Hmm. Okay, so let me see whether the default level matrices are coming or not. So I can see matrices are coming, but let me see. All matrices are coming. This is a quick validation. So I'll just run this piece. I'll see. I can definitely see the matrices are coming properly. Fine. It's all these jobs. So we will create another job for X509 that will export all the certificate related uh, matrices. So I'll install another Helm chart. This Helm chart is being provided by you know ENIX uh, repository. You can simply run this Helm chart without the values. Now why I'm passing another set of values. This is very important to understand. Now we have already installed Grafana with release also Grafana. So we need to have those labels to be passed into this Helm chart. Otherwise, this will run independently and it will not send any data to the your Prometheus and Grafana. So the moment I give service monitor with this label, it will create a service monitor, which will continuously look into service. And then uh, that service monitor will be picked up by the service monitor ERD, custom course definition. Similarly, the rules we need to create certain alerts also. So these rules will be created the moment I give this release equal to Grafana. So that X509, it is very important to have these two things, you know, attached to your YAML file. Now I'll run this piece. 
I'll come onto this GitHub repository and then I'll run it. Okay, fine. It ran quickly. Let me see. PGP, it is running KGET service monitor. I can see it's certificate one certificate monitor is also coming. Let me see KGET SVC service. Let me see the uh, X509 certificate export of endpoint for MET says for 9793. E. Oh, sorry. I'll just see the MET says endpoint. Yeah, I can see all the X509 MET says are coming. X Five zero nine. See, cert expired, cert not after. All these are matrices that are coming from your cluster only. So we'll see all those things, right? So certificate has been installed. Now I'll come on to the Grafana for validation. I'm on to the second step still. I've not come to the. I've not imported any kind of dashboard. But let me quickly see the matrices point of view. So I cannot see anything from the X509 export. So let me rerun this query. Now you you should see X509 or okay. Let me just refresh a bit. Oh, okay. One second. I think uh, my services have been stopped. Yeah, my bad. Sorry. So I need to do a port forward of. Grafana again, SVC. Uh, Grafana, yes. Since I'm running on the same host. Fine, I'll come on to the floor again. I'll run that same query again to see whether the X509 job is coming or not. I'll run this thing. Mm, yeah, see, this is what I want to see. 58 matrices are coming from this. So if I click on table, I click on this filtration. I can do a filtration on particular this job, and then I can do what all distinct matrices are coming. So if you need to understand the PromQL uh, query session, you can simply go to my other videos. So these are the distinct queries that are coming from this. See, expired setting, sending two matrices. Okay, and then. Yeah. So let's get back to my home page and then the third and the final step to validate whether the uh, data which is populated from cluster to Grafana is perfectly working or working off nine. Then we need to import this X509 dashboard and that can do the remaining final you know, piece. So this is the ready made dashboard which you want to import and then it will show it everything to you. So copy this ID. I've already pasted into my uh, documentation 13922 copy this id go back to your grafana import click on dashboard import and then load it will go to the general folder see uh, you can remove this panel this is obsolete not problems this is older so you can see there are two certificates there are no, no nothing is getting expired if it is getting expired it will come here and you can see the details yeah so if it is a heavy bulky cluster, you'll see it's a lot of data here. Okay. But since it is a mini cube single load cluster, you're getting a little bit uh, very small data. Right. So uh, that is that is pretty much I want to show it into this small video. I just try it out pretty straightforward. Uh, just install the Grafana first. Next is install this, but make sure that you add these labels. If you don't add these labels, then you will not see data. Now, one more thing. Uh, we forgot to show you the alerts also. There are certain alerts that gets generated from you know x509 the moment you come here you will see x509 alerts also get attached to it see so these are the alerts that are getting attached automatically so you can certificate error or certificate renewal four alerts are getting attached so it is saying that it will expire in next 28 days less than 28 days and it's saying that it has been expired these are certain alerts that are automatically automatically you know set for you 
So you can also disable these alerts by using this uh, uh, Prometheus rules. You know, alert equals to uh, you know false. I mean, create equals to false. So you can disable the alerts and disable the service monitor also. But yeah, for now keep it enabled so that you can get automatically your alert dashboard everything set up. So these are three quick clips. A quick summary: what we did before we wrap up this video, uh, we we installed first of all Grafana and then we installed. Uh, uh you know the, the xyz online exporter and then we link these two things with the help of a dashboard and alerts and then ultimately the loop is completed so i will just you know pop it here if you're not if you've not subscribed my channel please do that like and subscribe so that you can get so many videos related to devops and grafana in the same channel yeah stay tuned thank you bye bye thanks for watching bye bye